My City Week, your weekly roundup of the best of everything happening in Odisha, presented by My City Links. An a cyclist from Rajasthan, Narpat Singh Rajpurohit Langera, pedaled his way to Odisha with an aim to compete the world's longest single cycle journey of 31,000 km while spreading awareness about the need to protect the environment. He entered Odisha on January 27 from Barampur after cycling through Palasa in Andhra Pradesh. Starting his nationwide journey named as Cycle Yatra from Kashmir, Narpat has so far covered 26,707.6 km across 18 states and 4 union territories. Passing through the pilgrim town of Puri, he reached Bhuvaneshwar on February 1st. In cities and villages en route, Narpat donated saplings for free to the locals. He has so far donated over 90,000 saplings in different states. Popularly known as the Green Man of India, Narpat will leave for West Bengal from Bhuvaneshwar. It will take him about 3 to 4 months more to complete the mission if everything goes as planned. Odisha's first Badminton World Federation event, the Odisha Open 2022, concluded at the Jawaharlal Nehru Indoor Stadium, Katak. The event that commenced on 25th January witnessed some of the nail-biting events between young badminton players. Unnati Huda, aged 14, won her maiden Super 100 title by defeating Smith Toshniwal. Kiran George took home the men's single title with a thrilling three-game win over Priyanshu Rajawat. Sri Lankan pair Sachin Diaz and Thilini Hendahewa won the mixed doubles title, defeating the Indian pair MR Arjun and Trisha Jolly. Gayatri Ji and Trisha Jolly cruised to the women's double title with a clinical win over Sanyogita Ghurpade and Shruti M. Malaysian pair Noor Mohammad and Lim KW won the men's doubles title, defeating Indian pair PS Ravi and SP Uday. In another great achievement, a medical student from the state, Sachin Behra, has made it to the Guinness Book of World Records by performing 204 knee strikes in 3 minutes in the 5kg ankle weight category. Sachin achieved the feat in special program arranged on the premises of Buddha Temple at Unit 9 in Bhuvaneshwar. Prior to this, Sachin had made it to the Guinness Book of World Records by striking an object 137 times with two knees in one minute on March 10, 2019. The Bhuvaneshwar Municipal Corporation launched a demonstration program on e-waste collection to promote awareness among people of the city. As part of the program, the demonstration group made an appeal to the residents of Madhushudan Nagar area to give their electronics waste and domestic hazardous waste to the BMC instead of throwing those away. The group, through demonstration, pointed out the environmental hazards posed by the electronics waste. The BMC organized the program in association with State Bank of India on the occasion of Swachhata Pakhavada, observed in different cities of the country as part of Swach Sarvekshan 2022. The event was inaugurated by Deputy Commissioner Sanitation of BMC Suvendu Kumar Sahu. The extension of the Bhima Bhoi Bhinna Khyama Samarthya Abhiyan, an incorporated drive for the strengthening of the people with incapacities for five additional years, has been approved by the Expenditure Finance Committee of the State Government. A presentation supporting the need to proceed with the plan, growth and increment in the assessed cost of the scheme component-wise and year-wise for a further period of five years has been made by the Secretary of the Social Security and Empowerment of Persons with Disabilities Department. Following this, the committee approved the expansion of the scheme from 2021-22 to 2025-26 with an expected expense of Rs 139.25 crores. The popular mobile library of Odisha, Walking Book Fairs, has taken a green step and launched India's first eco-friendly e-book mobile store in the capital city on the event of its 8th anniversary. It was launched by Mo School Chairperson Susmita Bakchi. The e-book mobile will move in the capital city with books of various kinds. It has around 1,000 books. The e-book mobile store will connect with thousands in the city. It has also planned to offer the service in Katak in the future. In a rare case, we have a youth, Prashant Goda, who hasn't been to any educational institute after matriculation. The 26-year-old native of Odisha's Ganjam district couldn't afford to get educated further. He is no expert in zoology or veterinary science. But perhaps instincts and compassion can also help in acquiring knowledge that books don't impart, which is an insight into animal behavior and their care. 
Thus, it's a matter of split second for Prashant to assess what his dear baby, a six-month-old lion cub, Barsha, needs to comfort itself in an enclosure of Bhuvaneshwar's Nandankanan Zoo. And that's also because Prashant, setting a rare instance, had been hand-rearing the cub since its birth. In the past, Prashant had also hand-reared a tiger and a lion cub. Odia rapper Samir Rishu Mahanti, who goes by the moniker Big Deal, is pulling off the Singhodwara swag in his recently released Puri Toka music video. It takes the cultural vibrancy of the pilgrim town of Odisha to the world. In a week's time, the rap video has already garnered more than 85,000 views on YouTube and is making listeners groove to the Odia catchphrase that is colloquially common in Lord Jagannath's native place that is Puri Toka Puri Toka Amo style Pura Chokha. Set in the dingy bylines of Puri and its pristine sea beaches, the rap instantly grips the attention of its listener with its power packed opening line, which has been uniformly punched into the song's matrix Puri Toka Gola Bounce. Here's a funny video for all of you. Chalo bacho, corona ka table sunao. Corona ekam corona, corona dhuna sabun se haath dhona, corona tiye mask, muh pe laga ke khas, corona chowke aas, safai rakha apna pas. With this, we come to the end of today's segment. Keep watching My City Week, your weekly dose of positivity. I'm your neighborhood journalist, Afrin Firdaus, signing off.